Hello all, Coach Robert here with another Petite Combination video. This is another King of Pawn endgame as part of the endgame repertoire series. If you would like to, pause the video and see if you can solve it for yourself. It's white to play. But let's get into it now. So the key here is that white has two pawns. That's, this gives them additional winning chances. If there was a single pawn, they would not be able to win here. Um, Black has doubled F pawns, so they're not able to create their own pass pawn unless they get some help from the king. And additionally, if they want to draw the game, they need to get rid of both of white's pawns. So this means that black's plan is to play king e6 and f5. So we need to create threats immediately, and this is why we play b4. Now after b4, they'll probably bring their king towards this b pawn in some way. Here, they're threatening to play f5. The the reason I chose this move to illustrate the idea is that if you play a, a kind of slow move with the king, then they do get f5 and th they're just doing okay. So we have to play b5 to lure the king over away from the f5 square. And then we have to bring our king. Specifically, we have to bring the king to the outside. We could bring in any of these three directions, but this is the only way that creates a threat of bringing the king to a6, which would be winning all by itself. So this forces them to play king to c7, and after this we can bring our king a little bit closer. And unfortunately, because the pawn is in front of the king, we can't win straight away. But this is where the interesting part comes in. We have the second pawn. So what we need to do here, and you might want to pause the video again if you're interested in solving this as a puzzle, um, what we need to do here is force them to advance their f pawn. And the way that we do that is by running them out of moves on the queen side. This pawn on b5 and the king on b4, we're going to play it as if these were the only two pieces on the board. Until eventually we get what would normally be a stalemate position. But because black has some pawns, they have to move them. So they play f5, we take, and now they still have a legal move. They can play f6, and note that because they had doubled f pawns, they could not have run out of this move earlier in the game. They're always going to have this kind of problem with the doubled pawns. So after f6, here we play the casual move king c6, and they can only play king a7, and we get our red carpet position winning the game. Alright, I hope you guys like that, and I look forward to showing you guys some more examples. Take care.